There's a lot of people out here that's been struggling to get their first real estate wholesale deal. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you an organized structure that will have you well on your way to getting your first deal in 30 days. Let's get into it. Now, the very first thing you need to do is come up with a plan. A lot of people, when they get started wholesaling, they don't come up with a plan. They just jump into it and if they got $1,000, they throw $1,000 at the wholesale business in one month and think they're gonna get a deal in that one month just because they put $1,000 in. It doesn't work like that. What you actually need to sit down and do, especially if you're working a W-2 job, you need to sit down, put your expenses to the side. So you need to make sure your rent or your mortgage or whatever is taken care of and whatever is left over after all expenses are paid, that's what you can dump into your wholesaling business. Now, what I do want you to keep in mind is if you only have $100, to put into this business, you're gonna to have to get out and you're gonna to have to hustle more. Cause if you only got $100, only thing you may be able to do is use a skip tracing provider after you go out and drive for dollars or after you go to the courthouse to get potential leads. That's the only thing you're gonna really be able to do. But if you have around five to $600, dollars you gonna have more options that you can potentially do, which we are gonna get into once we start structuring this plan. But before we get into it, just take one second, hit the like button for me so you too can see that this video is helping you out and let's get into the plan. Now, let's say from this point on all the way to the end of the year, you want to come up with a marketing plan. You have a $500 marketing budget that you can use and you don't know what your KPI is going to be. So you just come up with KPI goals that you would love to hit. So if you're a very experienced wholesaler, nine times out of 10, you know how to use subject to, you know how to use seller financing. So it may take you one in every 25 leads to close a deal. But if you don't have experience with those advanced strategies, then it may take you one in 50 leads to close a deal. But if you don't have any experience at all with cold calling sellers or texting sellers, it may take you one in 100 leads to close your first deal. But the thing is, you just need to be realistic with yourself and set a goal that you can potentially hit. So in this example, let's say that you are a new wholesaler and you wanna set a goal of one in every 50 leads, you close a deal. And you know with the cheaper marketing channels that you're using, it would take $20 to generate a lead. If you need to generate 50 leads, that means that it's gonna take $1,000 for you to close your first deal. Now, just with those numbers right there in itself, you can say, okay, well, I'm gonna try to just spend $1,000 in the first month to close my first deal. It may happen, it may not, but you'll be well on your way to closing your first deal in the first 30 days. And if not, you'll be building up a pipeline of leads that you can follow up with the next month and the next month and potentially close those deals later on down the line. So if you wanted to set up a plan where you give yourself to the end of the year to close your first deal, you know, all right, I just need to generate 13 leads every single month in order to close one deal in my wholesaling business by December. Now, another thing too, like I said, these are not set in stone numbers. These are just rough numbers that you can set goals to potentially generate deals because you may get to one in 60 leads and that may be the number that you actually close your first deal. But this is just giving you rough numbers that you could potentially start off with. So just remember, you wanna set a goal of one in 50 leads you want to spend $20 to generate a lead and you can either set that up to where you close a deal in the first month, which you would have to generate a hundred leads, or you can just spread it out over the remaining of the year and generate 13 leads per month to close a deal by December. Now, if you are finding the content helpful, please just hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And I also been getting a lot of questions about mentoring. I don't currently mentor, but if you do need more in-depth help with getting started, definitely feel free to use the link below and schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, and we can definitely get into an organized structure that could potentially help you. Now, let's get back into the video. Now, with that $500 marketing budget that you have, just go ahead and take out $150 for skip tracing, because you need to be skip tracing at least $150 worth of data because that's going to be the most important aspect and a lot of people try to cheap out whenever it comes to skip tracing and pay five cents and six cents for skip tracing. I'm going to tell you now, nine times out of ten, those records probably haven't been updated in years. You're going to get a lot of bad phone numbers and you're just pretty much just giving them money. So with that being said, you will notice that you only have $350 left in your marketing budget. 
And the very first important thing that you need, you will need data. So you need to definitely put $97 aside if you wanna use the data provider that I'm gonna mention a little bit later. You also need to be using a dollar because that's gonna be the most efficient way to dial your sellers. A lot of people try to hand dial because they don't wanna spend the $119 per month, but it's gonna take you way longer to generate a deal that way. You also don't wanna be sending text messages individually, but you do need to make sure that it's legal for you to text black sellers in your state so you won't get in any trouble but you can also use a text blasting service and my text blasting service also allows me to send Wranglers voicemails as well to sellers too and you only spend like $49 per month for a service like that but as long as you have data you have your marketing services such as Wranglers voicemails text messages that you can send out and cold calling you have a solid omni-channel marketing presence when it comes to marketing to your data now, I understand you may not have that amount to put aside. What I would recommend doing at least is getting a dollar. Don't even try to hand dial, just dial more efficiently as possible. With the dollar that I use, it will allow you to dial up to 10 people at one time, which I don't recommend, but you can dial two to three people at once, and if you go to work during the day, you can get off work at four or three or whatever time you get off and dial to eight o'clock and get your dials in. Now, also on top of that, if you are on a budget, you have to put two to $3 aside per phone number in order for you to purchase phone numbers in that particular dollar as well too. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, the next key thing that's very, very important, and if you don't do this, you just pretty much throwing money down the drain. Like I mentioned before, just remain consistent. Throughout the process, you're gonna get a lot of sellers that's gonna tell you no. I hear no on a daily basis whenever I'm talking to sellers, but it can be just that one seller that says yes, that can generate you a $10,000 or $12,000 or $13,000 deal or more. So the more no's that you receive, you better believe you're getting closer to a yes and you're getting closer to a motivated seller. So just remain consistent. That's gonna make sure you're filling up your pipeline and that's gonna give you more money to reinvest and later on down the line, you'll be able to bring a caller on so they can deal with hearing the no's or they can deal with getting the no's in the text messages. Of course, you still gotta be working on your business as well too once you get to that point, but just remember this is just a starting point and you're doing whatever you gotta do to get to the point where you need to be later on down the line. So now with that $500, let's just get into the softwares and tools that I use in my business. The first First tool that I'm gonna mention that I told you you need to get no matter what is call tools. If you're looking to dial numbers, you need to use call tools to dial two and three sellers at once. And as your team grows, you get to purchase more seats. So if you wanna to continue to make calls and you have your agent making calls, then guess what? If you and your agent is bringing in one to three leads per day, that's six leads in one day. And like I said, if you know one in every 50 leads is gonna close you a deal, then guess what? That's gonna get you to your next deal even quicker because you and your cold caller are currently generating leads. So call tools is what I would use. Like I said, you gotta put 119 aside plus two to $3 per phone number and you can just pretty much dial away throughout the month. Now, the text messaging and ringless voicemail platform that I was talking about earlier is REI Reply. REI Reply is $49 a month. You don't actually have to use call tools. You can use REI Reply because they do have a built-in dollar. It may not be as user-friendly as call tools, but definitely if you are on an even stricter budget, use REI I replies for $49 and then you can cold call, send ringless voicemails and text messages. Everything that I'm currently mentioning is linked below so feel free to check them out. And for your data, this is the most important thing because just remember, if you don't have any data, how are you gonna generate leads? You can go many different routes with this. You can go to list brokers or you could just use PropStream for $97 per month. And if you use my link below, you do get a seven day free trial and it's gonna cut your cost about $2 because like I said, if you don't use the link, it'll be $99 per month. For that $150 that I mentioned earlier, the skip tracing service that I use is batch skip tracing. It is gonna cost you 15 cents per skip trace, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth it. Don't go out and try to get the cheapest data because you're gonna end up spending more money and end up talking to so many wrong people. Now, you are gonna have wrong phone numbers whenever you use back skip tracing. It will be less than what you will get using a free skip tracing service or using one that's charging you five cents per record. So definitely keep that in mind. And if you are looking for a video on the best list to pull while using PropStream, please feel free to check my video out here and that's definitely gonna help 
help you whenever you get started because it'll tell you the exact list to go after that's gonna have motivation and what to do if you're not able to use the 10,000 records that come with PropStream, how you can still pull the extra data and just put aside and skip trace at a later date. Now, I use a whole lot of other tools in my business. I'm not really gonna mention those because that's more money that you have to spend, but this is just the starter plan that you can use to get yourself going. Now, another free tool that I am gonna recommend that you use because you don't wanna just be generating leads and not storing them correctly, you do need to start using Podio. Set you up a free Podio account, set it up to where whenever you generate a lead, you go directly into Podio, which you can use a web form to do that. And what it'll do, it will house all your leads. And whenever you need to follow up with the seller, you can go check your Podio and see what the conversation was about before and you can just follow up based off of that. Keep in mind that 80% of your deals will come from follow-up. So please, please set up your free podio so you can properly track the leads that you generate. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.